Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for Spin Fishing character. Today we're over at Olberg doing some pike fishing, and this one bit as soon as I cast out. I didn't even have the real lock, so sorry to miss the start of it there, but cast it out. Uh, I'll show the setup here. We're using the Blast X crank F60002, and I've got a retrieval speed of 50 and another bite almost immediately. And another one kilo pike. So this seems like it's a pretty popular spot right now. I'm over here at 3364. Kind of on the I'm gonna say north end of the map. I'm literally standing out on a rock that's in the water here. And we're seeing what we can get. We are very close to leveling up. I think we're about eight thousand XP away from a level up. So hopefully today we end up leveling up. 226, yeah, 7100 XP away. And leveling up to 26 will unlock Ladoga. So hopefully, we get to have some fun there. Again, another bite before I even started reeling. Uh, on the two bottom rods, I've got a size one hook and semolina. Uh, there's some leftover semolina I had, I think, from when I first started leveling this character up and hoping to get some tench, but they're just extra rods really at this point. I'm not even paying attention to them. Ooh, hello. Decent pike here. 7.5 kilo pike, 2,500 XP, and something big on this rod, too. I'm guessing this is going to be either a black, a grassy, or a common carp. And if that's the case, I may pick these rods up, because I do not want to deal with this today. Not after catching that seven and a half kilo pike. Not used to those types of fish attacking semolina, so this is a bit of a surprise to me. Could be a huge tinge. But I don't think they pull this hard. I'll say it now, I'm not going to promise anything. There may be a second spin episode tomorrow morning if I wake up and feel like it. Again, not promising anything, but since we did miss an episode earlier in the week, I may log in and especially if we level up, do a quick pass over at Ladoga for a little bit in the morning. But this will depend on how I wake up. How I feel when I wake up, I guess, is what I should say. And keep in mind, this is the starter kit bottom rod, so it's not all that powerful. It's only a 5.4 kilo reel. Probably has some wear on it, to be honest with you. And 
I'm evidently going to have to chase this fish quite a bit. Moan. Give up already, fish. No, you're not going to, but one can hope. Well? This is promising. Did I just kill whatever this is? Looks like I did. Can't tell what this is. I think it's a common carp. Yep, it's a common carp. Four point four kilo common carp. Got a little bit lucky, wasn't much bigger than that. And where's my rod? There it is. So this is rod three. I honestly didn't know. And there's the rock I'm standing on. There's town. The bridge is right there. So back to what the real goal was today. Everything I've seen is half turn with shift and 50 and a three second pause and got another pike, another 1.2 kilo pike. Another bite before I even started reeling. This one's not quite as big as a seven, probably a Two to three kilos, my guess. 3.8, even better. Tiny white bream. Seven hundred XP away. Immediate fish. Small pike. Yes, I know there's a fish over on two. We'll get it in a second. Half spin, one, three, fish on. 
175 XP. I know we're close, and I kind of wanted to level up on a spin fish, but I also don't want to leave this one out there too long. Looks like a little crucian. 714 gram crucian. Ooh, someone just got a 19 kilo common somewhat nearby. Good old Toyota. Gonna guess that's a Japanese player. But you never know. Three. Spin. One. This is the first cast with no fish. Didn't realize my food had gone that low. Ooh, here we go. This will be a good fish to level up on. And I'm guessing we should. Depends on exactly how big it is. I'm going to say another seven and a half to eight kilos. Maybe a little bigger. Come here, Angry Pike. Ten kilo, ten point nine kilo pike, thirty six hundred XP, and we have leveled up to level twenty six. Very nice fish to level up on. Very happy about that. So we have unlocked Ladoga. Gonna stay here for today. I don't really want to switch in the middle of the day. Another small fish. That was a marker. I'll take it. Again, spin, two, three, spin, two, three. Where are we at? 9283. Just curious how many fish we've got. Pretty happy with that. Would love some more trophies. 13 trophies on 9200 fish is a little low. But then again, my float character is a little bit high for trophy count. Yeah, 
spin. Good old half spin or so. Ooh. Weird graphic lag there. I rebooted right before I started recording, too. Kind of trying to aim right at the tip of my rod there, right towards the end of that uh, log, tree, stick, whatever you want to call it. Moan fish. One point six one one chub. Wow, that was a weekly record pike, and it's Saturday evening, so that will probably stick. That actually surprised me. Enough that I got to go look at that. Like. Yep, just barely. The jerk baits are the ones that are doing the best here, but that requires very high level. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect to come back to a fish on the line on the spin. Um, jerk does require that you have 90%. I think it's 90%. Using a jerk bait rig, yeah. Requires having 90% of spinning. There's a word I'm looking for. And you also have to go in and change your rig to jerk bait rig to use it. I've seen a couple of questions on that recently. Tiny pike that time. <laughs> Hello, dogling yawn. Yeah, I'm talking about you. He's looking over at me. Another small pike. Get my food and energy, or not energy, comfort up. Keep my energy up. You can also try get twitching like this. I'm not getting a super far cast. Uh, I'm not getting a super far cast with this setup, so that type of twitching doesn't really give me much, especially at the speed I want to be going. Another tiny pike. Moan, fishy fish. Been around. 
around three times on the couch and lay down. I think he's telling me he may need to go out. You have to let him out when it gets to be nighttime. Because pike are very much a day fish. Which surprised me. I always thought of predator fish as night fish. Ooh, immediate bite on a decent pike. Three point seven four. Twenty kilo grass carp. Someone just caught. Twenty one fish, twenty two minutes, not bad. Especially since we had to chase that uh four kilo common around for a bit. And the good news is we leveled up, so today's goals almost completed. I would love a trophy pike. You really say we've completed today's goal. That's a cadence that's going on in my head. Ten, two, three, ten. And the twitching kind of wondering what it does it, it mimics an injured fish which a predator fish like a pike would want to attack getting late in the day Getting warm may slow down a little bit. We'll see what happens though. Kind of interesting, the bottom rods have just died. Had a couple of fish there early on, and then nothing. All right, let's see if we can get a bit of a longer cast. I want to switch over to this rod. And put the same lure on it. Where'd it go? 
Not the Dodger Crank, not the Grasser. There it is. The reason I'm using this one is I think I'll be able to cast this a little bit farther. Yep. Because the Model 1, if you look at them, the Model 1 rods have a best of 10 to 35 there. So they're expecting a lure in the 10 to 35 range. This one's 7.5, so it's a little bit light for that rod, or this one's pretty solidly right in the center of this rod's capacity. Now, with that said, if we hook a trophy pike, it's bigger than this reel's capacity, so something we just kind of have to think about. I kind of want to look for the Model 1 rods are a great rod for boat fishing. But I might want to see if I can find one for casting off the shore. It still works with the um, HSV as well. Because when we unlock Tunguska and things like that, we kind of want that. Either that or I need to start looking at a uh, bait casting reel setup as well. I don't know. Still haven't really decided what's next for this character. Spin. Two, three. Yes, I know there's a jingly bells. Reel that in here in a second. Decent crucian, 651 gram crucian. This may force my hand. Trying to figure out what I'm even snagged on. The end of this log. Hey, I got free. Sometimes the snags in this game are weird like that. There we go.
Trying to get old reeling twitch. We'll see if that does anything. Decent pike here. Get above water. 6.566, 2700 XP because of the bonus for medium light tackle. Sorry, I cut the grass earlier and my nose was giving me a little bit of a tickle there and I didn't want to sneeze, so I muted for a split second. What I'm doing on the twitching side is I'm reeling in and very similar click, two, three, right click, two, three. There's twitching. And small bite. <laughs> I'm releasing that a little sixty gram chub. That's kind of what I thought with shift click reeling and twitching weren't going to see much. Come on, give me a good fish. Back to the way we started things. Shift click, spin, wait three seconds. fish and yes I know there's a fish over on one of the bottom rods or there was a fish it's still on there And I'm going to go ahead and call this one the last cast of the day. It's getting to be nighttime. Usually about 2200 is end of pike time anyway, so. I get the feeling by the time I reel in rod two there, it's going to be 2200. We're close enough. That and I kind of need to pee. We'll wrap it up on a decent cruise there. 1.4 kilo crucian, not bad.
So 24 fish, 35 minutes, not too bad. We did get a couple of pretty good sized pikes. So I get the feeling today's going to be a decent silver day. Does. A 10 and a 7 and a 6. Those are going to go well. 24 fish. I'm going to say 130 silver. Ooh, ooh. How about 230 silver? Dang. 58 for the 10 kilo, 40 for the 7. 35 for the six and a half. 20 for the three eights. That three seven fours aren't bad. That common was worth seven. Let's see if it's gonna be even better. It is. Ninety-eight silver there. A trophy one would have been five hundred silver. Ooh, that would have been nice. But I'll take what I can get. So it was 98, I think. 98 or 92. 98 silver there. And another 190. So a 280 silver. Basically half hour. Not a bad day at all. It's up to 4,100 silver. So hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you back on the float character for sure tomorrow. And possibly a one-off episode. Spending some time over at Ladoga on this character as well. We'll see. If not, we'll definitely be back on uh, my Monday, your Tuesday with this character. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.